you doing up here? You're not calling the police? Not just yet. Luckily, she's in the phone book. You need to calm down, old man. You'll do yourself an injury. So much for equality. This always ends up being a blue job. I mean, look at the state of it. This should have been emptied yesterday. What, the wagon couldn't get through or something? Come on. Give me a hand. Stephen, it's your choice. Solidarity or your good suit. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, oh, it's rank. It smells like someone died in there. You need to calm down, old man. Injury. Steven, come on, let's go. Come on. Hi, it's Leo. Can't get to the phone right now. Leave us a message and. Theo's not been home. No calls, no texts. It's not like him. Last night out in Weatherfield with the rugby lads. To be tied to a lamppost somewhere with no eyebrows. Yeah. Cheers. Well, I want to ring the hospital now. His case is here. His passport's here. So where is he? Passed out on some mate's couch somewhere with a head like... like a... Who's got a big head? Frank Sidebottom. Hi, it's Leo. Can't get to the phone. Voicemail. For the hundredth time. So his battery's died. Or he's lying buck naked on a sleeper train to Inverness. Joke. Joke. <laughs> Oh, come on. He was having a wobble. Mostly his dad's fault, calling Jenny fit to burn. You said that Leo defended her? Publicly. But back there on his own, he was rattled. Wondering if this was all a mistake. You need to warn Jenny. Right, Uncle Stivon, what can I get you? I could get you a sausage butty, or a bacon butty, or bacon on toast, or an egg butty, or egg on toast, or eggs over easy, or home fries and grit. What is grit? Anyway, it sounds like something that you'd find in a plug hole. Shona, don't you ever stop for breath? Well, yeah, otherwise I'd be dead. <sighs> Tea, please. Right, we've got English breakfast, Earl Grey. Oh, we've got a lovely new one. Um, hot cross bun flavor, Roy's not keen, but the rep was really Listen, convincing. English, English breakfast is, is, is fine, thank you. Oh, I hope there's space there. I'm I'm not stopping. I, I just thought maybe Leo had been in for a final fry-up, no? What is it they say? The condemned man ate a hearty breakfast. Forget I asked. Oh, what's with everyone today? Um, uh, let me get that, Gemma. No, don't be daft. Thank you, though. <laughs> oh, Stephen. Worse than my Liam, you could go potatoes under them nails. Oh, uh... <laughs> Blame my mum. She's had me digging up dahlias for my sins. Yeah, your reward will be in heaven. <laughs> can you cover the bar? Daniel, can you meet me in the bistro? Because you were right, that's why. We're gonna have to level with Jenny. Yeah, I'll see you in five. I think Leo's got cold feet. No, he's not! His passport and his case are in the back room. Not about Canada, about Jenny. Well, they booked the tickets. She's told your world and she's made you manager. We can't pull out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take her for a drink and break it to her in public. It's... Oh, no, don't be buying me wine. Um, I, I need to keep a clear head. A few more minutes, please. This isn't actually a farewell drink with them. Um... We've got something that we want to tell you. Oh, leave it. It's the nursery. I can't. Sorry. Hello, Lisa. Is everything okay? Spit it out. Oh no, it's not, is it? Yes. Okay, I'll be right there. Bertie's thrown up. Some sort of bug going around. Well, go. Do you need to go on holidays? Uh, I'm sorry. Good luck. We think, me and Daniel, 
We think Leo might be having second thoughts. You... You spent all day telling me that I was overreacting. That's gaslighting, that is. I didn't want it to be true. But as the day's gone on... I mean, your taxi's booked for when, like... 40 minutes from now. You could be dead in a ditch. Is that supposed to make me feel better? He's dumped me, hasn't he? 